All right, so today with this video, we are going to do a Raptor throwdown. We got 48 pounds of Raptor main weight right here. We're gonna throw these things down the lane. We're gonna see who comes out victorious. So check out the video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. So we've got the Raptor Rush, which is gonna be the Affliction V2. It's got the new propulsion cover technology. We got the original Raptor Fury, which is gonna be the solid. And then we're gonna compare it to the Sky Raptor, show you what they all do. So we got the new Raptor Rush. We are going to compare this against the Raptor Fury, which is a solid version, as well as the Sky Raptor, which was the previous pearlized version in that lineup. We're gonna see what they all look like. So first one we'll do with the Raptor Rush, because everyone likes gold. Not a chance, 10 pin. Not today. All right, so did our first shot there with the Raptor Rush. That is going to be the newest one in the Raptor lineup. Uh, we've got the new Propulsion Pearl on that one. Obviously long and pretty strong. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna compare it to the Sky Raptor. Similar types of drillings on these two. What this is gonna do is just show you the difference between new cover, versus cover technology from a few years ago, just to show you the difference and how far they've come and the different type of reaction that they offer. So we'll stay on the same line as the gold, the Raptor Rush. All right, rolling two pins like Dick Allen. You'd be proud of that one, Richie. Um, so throwing that one on the same line Similar type of length, slower off the break point. Obviously, tripping the two pin versus getting the 10 pin out. Probably about a three board difference there in terms of total hook. So we'll make that move here with the Sky Raptor. So we'll go about three, four right. Be a little straighter through the heads too. All right, so we uh, apparently hit the turbo strip with the carry down. Make sure to keep that one in. It's a real experience. That's a good cut. Everybody wants to see that one. So let's make sure we get this old dirty bird to the dry, get a good comparison of it from the original. Maybe. I don't know what sort of uh, carry down anomaly we're in right here, or that Raptor Rush is just that much stronger. Who knows? All right, so let's do the Raptor Fury. Now the Raptor Fury, this has got the solid cover stock on it, same core. So we got this one fresh out of box. The cover on this ball is about as dull as my dad jokes. So at least that one read up. Still saw that that one made the shape on the same lane with the Raptor Rush, uh, but easily, I mean, that one picked up probably four or five feet sooner. My eyes aren't that good, could have even been more, but you saw with that stronger cover, picks up a lot earlier, definitely bleeds off more energy, which is good. That's the type of shape that we want with this. I think we also took all of the oil off of the lane so I don't know what's glowing more, the, uh, the cover of this ball or my forehead. So, but the Raptor Fury, definitely been a kind of a trick ball for my bag. It's not one that comes out a lot, heavier, longer patterns. It's been one that I've used. And you just see, I mean, that type of look, you know, earlier we did a ball review on the Sub-Zero Forge. Uh, the Raptor Fury is going to be in a pretty similar spot on the ball chart to that Sub-Zero, uh, but you definitely see earlier hook, bleeds off energy, much more controlled, which is a good thing. That's what we want. Again, we don't want every ball to be the same. 
You want to build an arsenal, have good variety. So we'll back to the Raptor Rush. Turn. Oh man, I hit that turbo strip again. Or the Raptor Fury. Took all the oil off the lane. Thanks, Raptor Fury. So Raptor Rush. Back to this. We're gonna move a little bit in off of our carry down spot. Make sure we hit it. And there we go. So even in a couple of shots that we threw there between the last few that we had with the Rush before we went to the Fury and the Sky Raptor, you definitely saw that spot down lane kind of close up a little bit. So that move that we just did right there with that Pearl Ball, we get into the fresher part of the oil, we go around, we get it to pick up and be stronger in front of that carry down. So Raptor Rush definitely does a lot, responds to a lot of different things. There's a battle of the Raptors, guys.